it really sings. Hello everyone and welcome to number 27. Today is very exciting. I'm going to go and try something that I've wanted to try for a long time. It's an Alphaholix Fettled 105 series 1750 GTV, which has got a two litre lump in it. But basically my my experience of 105 series GTVs is a bit checkered. I owned one in the past and I really didn't particularly like it. So I've been really looking, I'm going to talk more about that when I'm in Feroz's car, in the white car, but I'm really looking forward to today and I think that this car will change my mind. But the question is, is it worth double what I paid for the Influenza? I can hear him coming from miles away. I had my 1750 when I was in my 20s, so that's another one of these, it's basically the same car as this. I was avid on classic cars, I'd always wanted an old Alpha, and to be quite honest, it turned out to be a real disappointment. It just didn't handle the way I was expecting. I'd read about these 1750s, the 105 series cars, having incredible steering, and that car just wasn't like that. It didn't handle particularly well. To be fair, I think it was a bit tired. Years later, I'd driven many other Alphas and absolutely loved them, including a 1750 Spider, which was one of my all-time favourites. Not a 1750 Spider, including a Julia Spider, which has been one of my all-time favourites. So it was like a little jewel. So I thought, well, I'm ready to try again. And the guy who bought the original 1750 from me called me up 20 years later so he tracked me down online somehow and said, look, I've still got your car. Do you want to do a, he's a videographer. Do you want to do a nice video on it? And I was like, okay, yeah, fantastic. Let's do it. And I thought that I would really appreciate it again. I drove it again. And once again, unfortunately, as much as I wanted to love it, I just didn't, I didn't gel with that car. So this is fantastic because it's another opportunity to try one. now. This is going to be pretty much as good as you can get for a 1750 or for a 105 series car. It has a 2 litre twin spark engine from a 75, producing 190 horsepower. It's got the upgraded rear axle with limited slip diff, and it has the Alpha Holix C spec, I think, suspension pack, which means that it's, it's pretty much fast road and and track as a as a setup so i am going into it knowing this is not a typical 105 series car but hoping that it can redeem itself and i can tell you it feels i've just been trundling about but i'm going to open it up a little bit now and It's quite an impressive thing. Ferrer's told me that it gives its best between five and six, and it does seem like that. It's got a real hard edge to it. And it's, it feels so capable, it's unbelievable. I mean, this would completely murder my 308 on this road. Absolutely no doubt about it. 190 horsepower. The steering is just fantastic. My God, what a car. Oh, I'm in love already. Wow. It really sings. Ferrer's told me it's a bit like a Caterham and I know exactly what he means. 
it's just bang on precise. Gearbox, there's a little bit of slop in it, but it's fine, it, it's, it's good. It's not the best part of the car, but it doesn't get in the way of the drive. It's not, the suspension is, is quite firm, but not in a bad way. It's not at all crashy, it just feels just right for the car. God, this is a lot of fun, this thing, it really is. I can't, I can't get over how it goes down this road. At the moment, everything I've driven down here, this is probably the most capable, it is, it is unbelievable. Now what I like about this car as well, it's not a full-on GTA Alphaholics, so the engine bay is seam welded, but the rest of the car isn't. And the interior is exactly the same as a normal 1750 apart from these seats. And what I like about it is that it's still got a link to that original car. It's not completely and utterly different. It has upgraded brakes as well. I think it's six pot at the front and four pot at the back. The brake pedal is really heavy, requires... Oh my God, it's so good not a whiff of understeer they just don't make cars like this anymore with this level of interaction now back in the day when these cars first came out there was the 1600 version step front when I was buying them the 1750s slightly facelifted designs were the ones to have but I think now the step fronts may be even more valuable than those. After that came the 1750s which was reckoned to be the best engine to have. It was punchier than the 1600 but still very revvy and smooth. The two litre versions which followed at the end of the model run although had a bit more power and torque the front grille wasn't anywhere near as pretty and they just weren't thought to be quite as desirable as the others. But just look at it. Look at how pretty it is. It's quite ironic, really, that I was thinking about changing the Influenzo to white and then deciding that it wouldn't really suit it. It definitely seems to suit this car, though. It's quite short-geared. And the power, I mean, the acceleration doesn't feel monumental, but it's not really why... It's not part of the enjoyment of the car anyway, as you would imagine from something of this age. But it's, I think, perfectly judged for the chassis. Actually, the chassis could probably do with a bit more. It is so tied down. This is mighty, mighty impressive. And I can tell you it is a world apart from the way that my own 1750 used to feel, unrecognisable. I think if you have one of these, definitely try and get the Alphaholics C-Pack. It is brilliant. It's fine on the road and it makes the car handle so well. These really tight bends that suit the car perfectly. Now the question is, this Alpha is valued at around £75,000 and I think Ferrod is, Ferrod, sorry, is considering possibly selling it. it. Seems to be he's more of a Porsche man. But, the Influenza was 34000 Is this twice the car? Well, in many ways it is. The other thing you have to consider is that really a 308 a good 308 if you are going to buy one with low mileage and so on will be around the 70,000 mark and this will absolutely dump all over it in every way in terms of looks as well it's quite interesting because I was recently considering whether I should change my 308 back to white decided in the end it wouldn't look its best in it but this I'm sure you'll agree it's a 
fantastic looking thing. Thank you all so much for watching. Please do subscribe to my Instagram. Please subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you for the next video.